Oh, hi, sorry, I'm late. You didn't remind me, so I forgot, and then I went to the wrong room. I've only just found you. Where's our chairperson? Oh, yeah, I was smashed. She was really hot, though. Sorry, guys. What's happening, then? OK, so, Hayden, if you do paper one, John, you do paper two, Bronwyn, paper three, Miriam, paper four, um, and how about, uh, has anybody had a chance to read the papers other than the preliminary paper yet? No. OK, so why don't we just go off to the library and start on that, yeah? Yeah. Hang on. We haven't even started yet. So, John, you were going to give us your presentation and summary paper today, and overhead, have you got those? Oh, is that me, today? Um, no. Oh, no, you said you were. Well, um, oh. Does he ever? Bronwyn, next can you... week, maybe. All right, OK. Bronwyn, can you do your presentation? Oh, I wasn't, didn't know that I was supposed to do it today. Sorry. And an axon and reaches a nerve ending, stimulates release of a chemical from the nerve ending into the synapse. The chemical released is called a neurotransmitter and acts as a messenger substance between the two cells. Different types of neurons contain and release different neurotransmitters. In general, the neurotransmitter is synthesized in the neuron and stored within small membrane enclosed packets called vesicles. When the action potential arises, vesicles. Okay, so we're into session five. This is a chance to do your practice presentation and I can give you some feedback on it. Well, we've done a bit of um, work. We got together once. Um, I haven't got all the overheads together yet. I've got that one that I showed you in the last session from, from my paper. Rebecca, you were one of those people. That yeah, well, they're, send... they're nearly ready, but you know, there was just a little last minute problem. And yeah, so I'll send it to you later. You might just say that might be related to CMIC. So when we mention CMIC, you might just write arrow from that. Look at CMIC. Is it what CMIC over signaling plane? Yeah, it's a transcription factor activates <coughs> H dot. So I just might put that in brackets and then when we need it later on we'll use it. Um, the evasion of apoptosis was P53 inactivation. Um, and that's also uh, the TGF beta type 2 receptor, um, which also goes up with insensitive to growth factors. So it's the receptor type, type 2, two upregulation, yeah. as well as the, there's also an excess yeah. secretion of the actual cytokine itself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tumor growth um, factor beta yeah. type 2 receptor decrease. Oh, yeah, sorry. Decrease. <laughs> yeah. Type 2 receptor. Decrease. That means um, they don't get uh, apoptose signals, um, but they also, and that's also comes under insensitivity to anti-growth signals. Yeah. yeah. So just yeah. What about the excess secretions of TGF beta that enables it to like suppress the immune system? From attacking cancer yeah. cells. Yeah, there is an overproduction of TGF. So where would that go? Where you can give a bit. <laughs> so that's um, what was it? E V uh, E T P one. I'm sorry, E T P one and E R G translocation. E R G. R G. That's <coughs> Yeah. But the first one also include um, independence from androgen yep. signals. So that's, that's um, connected to this. Okay. Um, with like. Um, increased expression of oncogene CMIC, would that go under here as well? or? Uh, I think that mainly goes in um, evasion of apoptosis and the <coughs> limitless replicate. Yeah, because okay. okay. yeah. we're going to mention both effects. Does anyone have anything for the angiogenesis? Because I recorded here that um, in castration-induced mice, 
um, there's an upregulation of the TGF uh, receptors, um, and and therefore you get um, increased apoptosis. But um, obviously, androgen has a role in implicating it like normal, the normal balance of TGF beaters in the cells. So there's there's going to be a normal level of apoptosis and a normal level of growth. Okay. So just on the androgen role again, it says, interestingly, clonal membrane's activity is suppressed in prostate cancer cells after androgen withdrawal. So if telomerase is still active, then that's increasing the probability that you get neoplastic formation. So. so does that mean androgens come into play in the evasion of apoptosis and in the um, action of TGF? So we have to mention them sort of throughout the entire yeah. a couple of the hallmarks. I think androgens like in general are essential to the whole development of prostate because of the age dependency.